Hi friends, uh, my name is Ratan. In the last video we done the adapter class concept, right? Adapter classes. In this video, we'll discuss about the marker interface. Tell me what is the marker interface? I'll give the less explanation on the board here, more explanation on the, while doing the practicals. Practicals is important, right? While doing the practicals, I'll give the more explanation. Just uh, give me some, at least, what is the, what is marker interface? What is marker interface here? Marker interface. Marker interface are empty interfaces. There is no methods. Marker interface does not contain any methods, but whenever your class is implementing marker interface, your class must acquire some capabilities to perform some operations. That is called marker interface. Tell me the definition. Eh? Don't say marker interface means empty interface. Don't stop the definition up to that one. That is wrong. Marker interface main intention is what? Marker interface interface are empty interfaces. That is okay. Marker interface are empty interfaces, but whenever your class is implementing that marker interface, your class is acquiring some capabilities to perform some operations, right? That is called marker interface. Yeah. Clear? So generally, what are the marker interfaces we have? So Java data, uh, Java data, Lang data, clonable. Java data, Lang data, clonable. This is a marker interface. Yeah. Next one is what? One more marker interface. Java data, IO data. Serializable. Serializable marker interface belongs to IO package. Next one is what? Java data, util data. Simply can go for the random access. Random access of marker interface belongs to util package. So initially your class here, initially your class is cloning process not supported. Initially for your class, what? Cloning process not supported. If you want to make your class is a cloning process, what do you mean cloning process here? The pro of creating exactly duplicate object that one will do practically the process of creating exactly duplicate object that process is which process a cloning process okay so initially for your class cloning is not supported then your class must implement clonable interface once your class implementing clonable interface once your class implementing what clonable interface your class is acquiring some cloning capabilities your class acquiring what uh, some cloning capabilities yeah. see if you take the class or a class name here test class initially for your test class duplicate object is not possible then your class uh, must implements uh, your class must uh, implements which interface here here clonable interface once you are make the clonable interface your class is acquiring some cloning capabilities that is called mark interface definition here what the definition tell me speak out uh, try to respond. Marker interface does not contain any methods, but whenever our class is implementing marker interface, our class is acquiring the capabilities uh, to perform some operations. That is called marker interface. That is called what a uh, marker interface, right? That's all. You may ask one question here. That is, sir, without methods, how the capabilities are acquiring? You see that capabilities are provided by JVM. Here. So mark interface are empty interfaces, but whenever your class is implementing mark interface, your class is acquiring some capabilities, right? Without methods, how the capabilities are acquired, those capabilities are given by JVM. You are responsible to implement the clonable, yeah? then JVM automatically it will give what? Cloning capabilities. Clear? Huh? What is the cloning process? We'll discuss next video, right? Good. So initially for your class, serialization process is not supported. Yeah? Transferring the data between the layers. Transferring data between the layers. Initially, for your class, cloning is not uh, sorry, serialization is not supported. So your class, uh, your class uh, must implements must implements what serializable. Once your class implements the serializable interface, for your class, uh, serialization process is possible. So initially, for your class, serialization is not supported. Your class must implement such interface here, serializable interface. Or the third one here, random access. So random access means what? Data accessing capabilities. Initially, for your class, not that much data accessing capabilities and less. Whenever your class is implementing random access interface, from that class, we can read the data fastly. Generally, in the collections, in the collections, we have the array list, right? The collections, we have which concept? Yeah? Array list concept. Class array list. Array list. Array list is implementing internally. Array list is what? Implements which interface are here? random access interface that's all that is the reason from the array list we can read the data fastly these are called which interface are mark interfaces mark interface are empty interfaces 
marked interface or what? Empty interfaces. But whenever my class is implementing the marked interface, my class is acquiring some special capabilities to perform some operations. My class is acquiring some capabilities to perform some operations. That is called what? Interface. Mark interface. We're clear, right? Good. Mark interface does not contain methods, but class is acquiring the capabilities. That is uh, those capabilities provided by what? JVM, right? That's all, guys. We're clear, huh? That's it. This is one prospective. But some of these times I observed while doing the project here, uh, mark interface. Uh, anyhow, maybe most of the 90 students knows these points, right? Generally, 90% students says this this answer is accepted. But some of the experienced guys here, experienced persons, they never act. Uh, they are in some case they are not accept this answer. For experienced guys, I require one more answer. Here. The answer is mark interface. Uh, what I said, mark interface are empty interfaces, right? Okay, but experienced guys, uh, they are not accepted actually. The experience case, the answer is mark interface, no methods, no issues. If it is a method, also no issues. Mark interface may contain methods or may not contain methods. Generally, what is the mark interface you are saying? Mark interface does not contain any methods. Mark interface are empty interfaces. But whenever you are implementing interface, your class acquiring the capabilities, right? That is okay. There is one definition. Another definition is what? Mark interface may contain methods or may not contain methods. It means may contain methods also. But whenever my class is implementing that interface, my class has to acquire the capabilities that is called mark interface. May not contain method, may contain methods or what? May not contain methods. <laughs> so previously done what? That interface does not contain methods, right? But now, so generally, some experienced guys, the guys are saying Java dot lang dot runnable is interface. In multi-threading, have the runnable interface. Here. The runnable interface contains one method. The method name is called which method? Run method actually. Where runnable interface contains which method? Run method. But uh, to make your class is thread class. Uh, class uh, my thread. To make your class is a thread class, you can implement so what? We can implement switch interface here, runnable interface, right? That's all. Whenever your class is implementing runnable interface, your class is acquiring some threading capabilities, right? Then the runnable is also giving some threading capabilities or not. Then runnable is also they are saying mark interface. Now this mark interface contains so many methods, one method or not. So no, this mark interface contains so many methods, one method, right? Like that. So some of the experienced guys are saying like this. Okay, so if the mark interface contains methods also no issues, but see the class is implementing the interface means that class is acquiring the capabilities. Once the class is acquiring the capabilities, that is called what a mark interface. First you have to say this definition here. This definition they accepted means okay. Okay, if this def some of the guys expecting this definition. Okay, what the first definition tell me here? Mark interface are empty interfaces. But whenever your class is implementing that interface, your class is acquiring some capabilities to perform some operations. That is called mark interface. Without methods, how the class is acquiring the capabilities? Those capabilities are given by JVM. That's first definition. Second definition what? Some cases mark interface may have methods, just like runnable. It contains methods. But whenever my class is implementing runnable, the class is acquiring some threading capabilities, right? That is also mark interface. We clear, huh? that's all. I think the point is clear, right? Hmm? The interface is giving the capabilities. The interface giving the capabilities. That interface is called what a mark interface. I am covering both scenarios here because one of the experienced guys last class he is asked this question actually. Ratan sir, my manager said uh, runnable is also mark interface. Okay, because runnable is giving the threading capabilities. I have to accept. Right? What I said, it can zero methods, without methods, and class has to acquire the capabilities. But manager said like that. I then saw that my manager said like that, but I argued with my manager. Then I asked some other persons also, some experienced guys. What experienced guy says, that is also valid point. This is also valid, this is also valid, right? That's all. We clear, huh? that's all with mark interfaces. Yeah. In the next video, we'll discuss about what? Uh, clonable interface, how the cloning process is done. How the simulation process is done. 
Simulation in random access we'll discuss later. Now next video immediately we'll discuss about what? Clonable interface. The process of creating exactly duplicate object, that process is called what? Cloning process, right? That's all guys. So thank you guys. Thanks for uh, watching. And like the video, comment the video and subscribe to our channel to get the more updates and share the information to your friends. And if you have any questions, just send a request to my mail ID so that I will follow the material. My mail ID is what? Ratna, R, not Ratna, Ratna, R-A-T-N-A, Ratna5256 at gmail.com. Ratna5256 what? At gmail.com. This is my mail ID. Just send a request to my mail ID, I will follow the data. And finally, I am de giving the definition. For the definition, mark interface definition. The interface may contain abstract methods. Are. The interface, mark interface are empty interfaces. Whenever my class is implementing the mark interface, my class is acquiring some special capabilities. Okay, those capabilities provided by what? JVM, right? That's all, guys. Thank you, guys. Bye.